the city of Medina in the year 11 after Hijra. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's just passed away and the event of Saqifah has taken place and the Shia of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam they're being forced to pledge allegiance to the new ruler. Now, I want to know if you were in that situation, what would you do? Would you give bay'a under taqiyya and help the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam in secret? Or would you speak out openly, you know, risking your life and potentially the lives of your loved ones as well? Um, personally, I would speak out because, I mean, nothing, nothing I do would compare, be compared to what they've done for us in exchange, as in die just for, to keep the name of Islam alive till today. Um, and I would just do the best of my ability just to please them. And I think doing it either way, secretly or out loud, as long as they're pleased. And I think doing it out loud will help others know and help bring more awareness to the situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Now, I want you to picture that you are standing outside of the house of Fatima al-Sahra alayhi salam. This is the house where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, he used to go there and greet his family with such affection. He used to kiss Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam on her hands and on her cheeks. He would hug Al-Hasan wa Al-Hussein alayhi salam. I want you to picture that the enemies have come to the house of Lady Fatima and the threat has been made and she has refused to let them come in. Now you, you see them break down the door you hear Lady Fatima alayhi salam screaming behind the door. You see them you see them setting fire to the house. How would you feel seeing such a thing? What do you think you would do in response? Um to be honest, I would not I would I wouldn't have words like Mentally, but physically, I will obviously get up and do whatever I can do, say Fatima to Zahra, because she's such a a powerful member. Like her her upbringing and her power, and like how she didn't let go after all of the, like the knocking and the threatening, and she's still such a strong power, and she still she stood for to for her to wear the headscarf, and then she didn't want to she didn't want them to come and see. So her modesty and her power really is an inspiration to this day. And to be honest, a girl did ask me recently, um, why do you guys still think of Fatima Zahra after like 1,400 years ago and it's now 2018? And in my opinion, in my, my own words, I told her, if one of your siblings or one of your parents were to die, you told me you wouldn't you wouldn't think of them after one thousand four hundred. You wouldn't you'd pretend like nothing happened, nothing affected you, and she obviously stood quiet. And I told her, um, someone like that we can't let go of so like easily. Her she just every day she's an inspiration. I look at myself in the mirror, and I think would Fatima Zahra approve of this? Would she think yeah this is? Would she smile? Would I make her frown? Would I make her pleased? All these questions come up to me because she's such a, she's like one of a kind. She's really, really powerful. And so yes, I'll do anything I can just to help her. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Um, Fatima al-Sahra alayhi salam, you know, she is the perfect role model and her pleasure is the direct pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. So to hurt such a lady is a grave and a grievous thing indeed. Um, now, I want you to imagine now that the attack has finished. 
I want you to imagine that you've just walked into the house of Lady Fatima and you see her and she's lying on the ground unconscious. Al Hassan wal Hussein, Zainab and Kulfum, they're around her trying to wake her up, they're crying, seeing such a terrible thing. What do you think you would do in that situation to try and help? if you could? Um, again, to be honest, I'd be so startled by the situation because like you said, she's such a woman and like, how can someone do such thing to her? Um, I'll, I will ask Hassan, I'll ask them all, what could I do right now that would, if, and I would help you, impact you, anything, like honestly anything. Just like they put their lives out there for us today for us to follow their path, for us to have a reason in life, like I've been brought into the right path because of them. So I'd like to do that in return and just ask them anything and I'll do anything they want. Okay, so finally I want to ask you um, to imagine that you are walking in Medina beside Imam Mahdi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance. I want you to imagine that you're walking beside him and you ask him, Yabna Rasulullah, where are we going? And he tells you, we are going to go and visit the grave of my grandmother Fatima alayhi salam. Now, no one knows where she's buried and you finally know the position of her grave and you're standing in front of it now. If you could say anything to Lady Fatima alayhi salam, what would you tell her? I would obviously first ask her if she's pleased, if she approves of everything I've done in this dunya. Um, I, would, I would ask her what can I do, what improvements can I make, what would make me reach your standards, I don't think anything can but I will obviously ask her what advice and I will t I'll reassure her with like I'll tell her how how of a great woman she is and I'll just express my feelings to her because to be honest then again I will be of course startled because meeting such a heavy posture like it's not easy it's not something an everyday it's not an everyday thing so yeah I'll just ask for reassurance and I'll ask how I could improve myself. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It would be an incredible thing just to stand in the presence of Our Lady, alayhi salam. And um, I thank you so much for coming on our show today and giving us such a lovely insight into your thoughts and feelings about this tragedy. And I pray earnestly that Fatima Tazahra alayhi salam is pleased with you and your efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all firm and steadfast on the path of the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. And may he hasten the reappearance of our master Sahib al Zaman so that goodness and justice may be brought to this world after injustice and evil has taken over it. أين بقية الله؟ أين بقية الله؟ أين بقية الله؟ على كراز خدا خدا كلاد كبيا خدا کنه سنور غیب نوایم خدا کنه خدا کنه